Hi, my name is Samuel Tudor Palocci, and this is my presentation on my big idea and the ensuing lessons and reports that occurred as a result. The inquiry model I am using to lay out this inquiry is the Integrated Inquiry Planning Model by Kathy Murdoch. Broad focus for inquiry is component number one. Murdoch believes an inquiry which can entice a learner beyond the facts and towards concepts can be enticing for a learner. These types of inquiries, Murdoch continues, are developed under overarching concepts or big ideas, which can include social responsibility and environmental sustainability. Sustainability was the concept chosen for this inquiry. This moves us on to component number two, which is the generative question. Murdoch believes an inquiry, which can entice a learner beyond the facts and towards concepts, can be enticing for a learner. These types of inquiries, Murdoch continues, are developed under overarching concepts or big ideas, which can include social responsibility and environmental sustainability. Now, the big idea I have selected is the impact of human consumption and consumerism has on the local environment. This brings us into component number three, which is tuning in. Tuning in provides an opportunity to get student attention with an engaging activity which Murdoch believes will make student knowledge transparent, with knowledge ranging from very minimal to incredibly comprehensive. This results in activity one, what is sustainability? In order to immediately engage students on the topic of sustainability, students will be required to watch a short film, what is sustainability? Here, you can see the KWL sheet, which is filled out and placed in the student learning journal. The curriculum components of this activity is prior knowledge of the environmental and human influences on the location and characteristics of a place and the management of spaces within them, and types of resources, nat natural human capital, and the ways society use them to satisfy the needs and wants of present and future generations. We then move on to activity two, war on waste in the next tuning in activity. This activity will help scaffold for students the process of waste management, which becomes harrowing on the environment. Students are to watch an episode of ABC's episode titled The Battle Continues, which focuses on our reliance of single-use plastic items, which damage our waterways and the marine life that inhibit them. Students will then evaluate the episodes which can be seen here, which is also placed in the learning journal which brings us to num the number four component of finding out. In order to gain an experience as a researcher, Murdoch believes that during an inquiry, students should gather data via various methodologies. These numerous methodologies can include expert visitors to school, films, surveys, experiments, and etc. Activity three, excursion to a local park. The students will visit a local park, Plumpton Park, and be required to take their learning journals. Students will note the vegetation, human-made structures, and take photos. The class will then generate questions, which will be used on a report that will need to be presented to the class. This is a teacher-led discussion. However, the teacher will then come up with the questions for their reports, which will in turn will guide the students. As evident here, here is a worksheet of the excursion that took place. The curriculum components for these activities are the effect that the consumer and financial decisions can have on the individual, the broader community and the environment, and the obligations citizens may consider they have beyond their own national borders as active and informed global citizens. Activity 4 is another activity linked to finding out, as it requires research and selection of correct information to create a poster on sustainability. Here is the poster. The curriculum component of this activity is the display of artworks to enhance their meaning for an audience. This brings us to component number five of the Murdoch model of sorting out. The class will then generate questions which will be used on a report that will need to be presented to the class. This is a teacher-led discussion. However, the teacher, when coming up with questions for the reports, will guide the students. This requires activity five, internet research. Students will be required to use the internet to research their local area that recently visited on a field trip. Going further is component number six of the Murdoch model, and here is where the report comes in. After gathering enough evidence from a variety of resources about the impact of humans on the local environment, the students will now be presented with an opportunity to complete a report and present to the class. This report will mesh together a student's prior knowledge as well as incorporating new knowledge collected during the inquiry process. The last piece of the puzzle of the Murdoch model is concluding and acting. 
This allows for students to make their thinking synthesized during the inquiry process more explicit, as Murdoch believes that it is connected to the importance of transfer, reflecting on the inquiry journey the student has taken. This is the form of the reflection, which is filled out and placed in the learning journal. Students are to reflect on the learning they have acquired over the course of the inquiry. Students are to look back on their KWL charts from the first activity and reflect whether their learning and skill set has been enhanced, and if so, an explanation is to be given with examples supported by work in the inquiry. The curriculum components of these remaining activities is prior knowledge of the environmental and human sciences influences on the location and characteristics of a place and the management of spaces within them, and types of resources, natural, human, capital, and the way societies use them to satisfy the needs and wants of present and future generations. Thank you for watching my presentation and good luck.